Hello, this is Jim making this video today for Nature's Nectar LLC. And this is one of our bee strategy videos is what we're going to do here today. It's uh, March 31st and we're just starting to turn the corner of uh, some warmer temperatures. It's going to be 60s in a week and uh, we're going to try something a little different. Uh, this is the time of year we're going to do reversals where we take the top box and put it on the bottom and the bottom box on the top. And that helps expand the brood nest. Now in this case, we're gonna do something a little different. I've got package bees coming in about a month and I really would like some more drawn comb on my package bees. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something a little different here. I'm going to, this is a strong colony coming out of winter. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to, uh, this has a feeder pail on it. We're going to remove the feeder pail off of it and we're going to add a third box of foundation. Now this particular foundation is called Max Draw Foundation. It only comes in yellow, but the thing that I really like about this Max Draw Foundation is that it has about three times more beeswax on the, on the uh, sheet of plastic compared to just a regular sheet of right cell. So this is very attractive to the bees and they do a great job drawing it out. And then also today we're going to be feeding some syrup and this is the syrup that I really like especially for spring feeding. The syrup is called Pro Sweet. It is uh, just like honey. It's fructose and sucrose and it weighs about 11 and a half pounds per gallon and honey weighs 12 pounds a gallon. So this is really a premium feed and the bees love it. And they do a great job of, of using it for making comb and everything. And also uh, the nice thing about why I like ProSweet is that it won't ferment. If when, it, when we feed our bees one-to-one -one sugar water, it can uh, ferment. And then all of a sudden you open up your feeder pail, it's got all this gray scuzzy stuff on the inside, you gotta wash it out. But with ProSweet, even if you cut it with 10% water, it still were not fermenting the pail. So you could have a pail of syrup on a colony for a month and it won't go south on you. But if you had sugar water in that period of time, you'd be throwing it out and putting more syrup in uh, because it would have fermented. So today, so let, we're gonna look inside the colony here now and check it out. Now we're coming out of winter. So this is a, a bee cozy bee cover that we've had on this all winter long and um, and then, so we, we did give it a pail of syrup, and it was cold when we were doing this, so we put a middle bucket over our feeder pail to help keep the feeder pail warm so the bees could uh, keep that syrup warm. Not that it was gonna freeze, but just making it warm enough for them. And this syrup pail is empty. And I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of smoke. Remove our top box here. And we're gonna leave our winter covers on for another week. It's gonna get in the 60s, but we're gonna leave that on for another week. Today it's probably in the in the low 40s at the moment. It's gonna warm up. But this is a this is a nice strong colony. I've got bees on all these frames here, so it's perfect. We've given them a, 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 a pollen patty of Ultra Bee pollen patty. Ultra Bee pollen patty has the most protein of all the pollen out there, all the pollen substitutes, so it's, it works really good. The bees really, you can see they've eaten this whole one down. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just wanna fill up my, my feeder pail. And this is just a uh, gravity feeder pail, it's called, a vacuum feeder pail. Nothing, very simple. It's always hard to operate when you got boxing gloves on. There we go. And this feeder pail just has holes drilled in the, in the lid. So it's just a vacuum feeder. We wanna have, we, and to do this, we wanna have our, uh, we wanna, um, 
have our hive reasonably level. If it's not reasonably level, it could, um, there's always a possibility that it could leak out. But when, when, it's, when it is uh, level, it works really good. And then when you fill up your feeder pail, you want to fill it up near the top. And we have to perform a rescue. And the more I rescue, the more I come in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my deep box with my max draw frames and put it on top like that make sure whenever you have new frames in there make sure they're tight together otherwise they'll make funky comb I'll come back a little bit later in the week and I'm gonna get add more pollen down below and I'll probably put a half a patty of pollen up here also So I just add that, and here's our syrup pail. And as long as we have it, we're gonna use our little minnow bucket today. And we'll cover everything up with another deep. Now we've got a, it's got a, there's a, we have a month before our package bees come. So I hope I'm hoping in a by the in a month's time, these bees should have that drawn out because this is a well populated hive. You couldn't do this. I mean, if it had only on four frames of bees, that wouldn't be enough bees to do what we're trying to do. Uh, you saw in this one that full box was, had bees all over it. So there's a lot of bees in there. There'll be more bees coming as the queen is ramping up her egg laying. So there'll be more bees coming out. And now she'll be able to move up from this lower box into the upper box as the bees are making the wax on those new foundation. And they'll also store syrup in there also, of course, but they will leave room for the queen to lay. And uh, we can keep uh, having a great strategy. So with the bees will keep it here. And then a little bit later, I'll come back and I'm gonna take that bottom box. I'll take it right away. It's all drawn comb and there's no bees in there right now. And then I'll be able to use that, that drawn comb for my package bees that'll be coming in about a month. Well, thanks for watching.